Hello, it's Laura Waldman, the Abundance Activator here. And today I want to speak to you about power and vulnerability and how the two things are connected. <laughs> I've been on an immensely powerful inner journey, personal process around accessing deeper parts of my own power and my abundance, my ability to consciously create my life. And in order to do that, unfortunately, fortunately, <laughs> I've had to access deeper levels of my own vulnerability. And it's painful and it is no fun cracking open to deeper parts of our vulnerability, but they are absolutely interconnected, especially if we're talking about embodying what I call heart aligned or heart led power. So I have the immense joy and pleasure of also supporting, networking, and being friends with really powerful business owners. And we're all showing up in new levels of vulnerability as well as new levels of our power. And I wanna to talk to you about this process because they don't seem to be connected. Being deep in our vulnerability can feel very like the opposite of powerful can feel very weak. It feels vulnerable. It doesn't feel powerful. And yet what I've discovered is in order to access your true power, your true wealth, your true abundance, deeper aspects of yourself, in order for you to show up powerfully in the world, sharing your gifts and your purpose, you have to access deeper levels of vulnerability. Who knew? <laughs> Which means really feeling yourself on deeper levels. Because when you do that, when you surrender to these vulnerable, sensitive aspects of yourself, what you're actually doing is mining for gold. You're creating space to go deeper within, to actually access new levels of your power, new levels of your gifts, new levels of your wealth and abundance. It's accessing your heart. And our hearts are immensely powerful, but also immensely vulnerable. This is about how to lead a heart-led life and business, fully open, fully sharing and expressing all that you are in the world. We long to fully express who we are in our lives, in our business. And this also creates immense success and financial success and so much more success in the areas of love and connection and joy and health. It's extraordinary. And yet to access, access these new levels, we have to feel ourselves on an even deeper level. We have to go in courageously to those parts that are terrified of being hurt, that are terrified of being rejected, that are terrified of being judged, that's terrified of being all alone. And what I've found speaking with and coaching hundreds of people is that many people, if not everyone, carries this deep fear of rejection, a fear of abandonment, a fear of being alone. That if I'm truly myself in the world, if I'm truly showing up in all that I am, I'll be hurt somehow. And that's definitely been my story. My fear of being my full embodied self is that I'll be all alone. I'll be left. I'll be unloved rejected. And that's been a deep core wound that I've been working with and working through for the good part of 20 years. And what's fascinating is every time we're up leveling, every time you're calling in a new level in your, in your life, in love, in intimacy, in your business, in your finances, whatever it is, there you are. There you are. And it requires the courage to go even deeper in even deeper inside. And you think, I know this, I've visited this part of myself before. This isn't news, you've already been doing lots of self-development and transformation work.
but every time you go into a new area that you have not experienced before, you're gonna hit up against those fears and wounds again. So we need to courageously go in, courageously feel, courageously show up and share our vulnerability. Practice with people you feel safe with, people that you feel or know can hold you in those parts of yourself. And if you don't have them, call them in. Call in new friendships, new connections that can meet you in this place. But you have to be the leader, the courageous leader, risking vulnerability, risking putting yourself out there. And it does feel risky. And yet it's fascinating to me how risking that vulnerability actually brings us closer because it allows other people to also feel safe to be vulnerable. And I have realized that vulnerability, one takes immense courage, but also is incredibly powerful. It helps you to access your heart aligned power, which is the most powerful of all. And it's a power that contributes. It's a power that creates in harmony with all of life. It's a power that's here to serve, not take. That's here to, to give that's here to, to serve the collective, as well as yourself individually. There is no separation from this heart-aligned power, that we are interconnected. We are part of each other's lives. We're not an island. <laughs> We're not one person. We are one individual having an experience with each other. So for me, this is the new level of leadership that I'm calling myself into and I'm calling us all into. Heart aligned conscious leadership, heart aligned power. And in order for us to access this parts of ourselves, we also need to call ourselves into to greater courage within. And let's just be honest, it's not easy. <laughs> It's not easy. And yet what I'm experiencing personally is I courageously show up and share my deepest vulnerable parts with people that I get braver and stronger and realize, oh, I've got enough people in my life who love me and receive me in all that I am that I know I'm okay. And I'm not going to be completely alone. There's at least a few people who've got my back <laughs> and many more. So beautiful, one beautiful, great heart led leader. I invite you into deeper levels of your vulnerability in order to access deeper levels of your heart aligned power and abundance and wealth and love and joy and connection and freedom and all that you truly, truly desire. You have my deepest love and compassion as you journey forward. And I'd love to hear from you if you can be brave enough to share vulnerably, comment below and let me know how you feel and and maybe even what your fears are and you know if you show up in all that you are, what is it for you? I'd love to hear. And please know if you would like any support with this, if you'd like to have a brave and courageous heart connection, heart call with me. I'd love to invite you to apply for a free call with me. This is where we do exactly this. We meet heart to heart, soul to soul. We have a powerful conversation about what you're calling in, the vision, the vision of your heart and soul, your purpose. And we lovingly, courageously look at the, the your protection, basically, how you protected yourself the blocks and obstacles that are stopping you from fully embodying your heart aligned power and purpose. And then we look at what is the next best action step? What do you need to help you to embody more of who you truly are and what you want to be experiencing as your life? So this is my gift, my heart to your heart. Please read the, the information to make sure that this is a fit for you because it's not for everyone. These calls really are for the, the leaders, the change makers, the visionaries, conscious business owners. So you'll know if that's you, read, read the information and then please book in a call. And I look forward to having a wonderful, powerful, vulnerable, heart to heart call and connection with you. Sending you all my love for now and speak to you again very soon.